Inspirational Creatives, episode 211. Welcome to Inspirational Creatives. I'm your host, Rob Lawrence. Join me every Friday as I chat with successful artists, producers, and creative entrepreneurs who share powerful stories and strategies. They can help you to create the life that you want. Listen each week as these inspirational creatives show you how to take your creativity to the next level. You'll learn how to create a sustainable business that inspires others and gives you the financial freedom and lifestyle that you want. Thanks for listening. Make sure you sign up at inspirationalcreatives.com to get free exclusive bonus material. And now on with the show. Rob here and a very warm welcome to 30 Days of Daily Inspiration on the Inspirational Creatives podcast. Each day for the next 30 days, I'll be sharing with you an idea, a piece of inspiration or a piece of wisdom that I feel will help add more creativity to your life and business. Today is Tuesday in episode 211. And today I want to share with you what I've learned in the last three years and 200 episodes about consuming wisely. Now, I'm not talking about consuming podcasts so much as everything we consume. How much thought do you give to what it is that you consume? My thoughts and feelings have been changing around this particular subject somewhat over the last few years to the point where I, in a healthy way, question everything. From the food I eat to the material I read, to what I buy and what I like to listen to, to the people I choose to spend time with. Not that I consume them, but I'm well aware that their thoughts, ideas and behaviour influence my own and therefore my own success and joy. So today I invite you to consider carefully what it is that you consume. For example, the food you eat. Do you know where it comes from? Do you know how it is made and how good it is for you? Do you know what food is good for you? How much do you eat and is your diet relevant towards being who you truly want to be? How much exercise does your body consume and how much movement do you offer your body on a daily basis? And what about how you feed your mind? I haven't owned a television now for nine years. I rarely go and see films too, but here's a funny thing. I feel much happier. In fact, I've noticed more of a difference in my personal and professional life by paying more attention to what I consume media-wise than I do nutritionally, although that is important to me too. I only watch something if it deeply triggers my own curiosity and the idea comes from a trusted source. I genuinely feel happier in myself without everyday media consumption. I no longer read the newspaper like I used to in the office and no more do I have the daily commute where I would listen to at least two hours of radio mindlessly filling my mind every day. That's not to say all media is bad, far from it. It's just a case of being aware of what it is that you consume. I prefer to listen to a podcast today than a radio programme, usually because that podcast is about a subject or a particular topic that I'm specifically interested in at that time. The question I always ask myself is, is this programme or piece of information positively or negatively serving my higher aims and the aims of those that I serve? I choose to consume books, magazines and online information that I trust because I know it positively serves me and therefore those that I serve too. You can tell a lot about a person from their record collection or their bookshelf. And if you look at my bookshelf, for example, you'll see lots of books on mindset, psychology, business, creativity, art, audio and recording, which are deep interests of mine. In fact, my favourite books right now at the moment are The One Thing by Gary Keller, The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron, The E-Myth by Michael Gerber, The Big Leap by Gay Hendricks and Out of Our Minds, which is a book about learning to be creative by Sir Ken Robinson. What does that tell you about me right now? What's on your bookshelf and what are you choosing to consume today? I'm definitely a much happier person when I consume more wisely. I fear less and I feel more in control and more at one with who I am and what I know. I have more time to do what I love and to be with those I want to be with. And when I'm with those people, I do my best to give them my full attention. I'm free from distraction with ideas and gossip that I would consume from elsewhere. And they get the very best of me, free from those distractions. In my experience, you have a much more interesting conversation and a far more intimate time when you choose to consume wisely. But you have to be careful. It's easy to get information overload and get stuck down with even the best content and most inspirational material, including this podcast. Too much of a good thing. Many of those folks that I work with that are creatives are often overwhelmed with all the courses and books that they've bought on marketing and starting your own business, when sometimes less is actually much more. 
When I offer workshops to universities and other audiences, I often talk about the five pillars of success, which are really the five pillars of life in my book. These five pillars are the spiritual, that's the creative side of yourself, how you creatively connect with the world. The physical, this is your physical form and body. The mental, your knowledge and skills and abilities. Your financial, your relationship with money. And of course, your relationships with yourself and with others and the world around you. In each of these five areas, I believe you can mindfully pay more attention to what it is that you consume. So I guess the bigger question is, are you consuming mindfully? You may find that the more attention you pay to what you consume and how it is positively serving you and therefore others, is sometimes it's not necessarily about consuming more necessarily, it's sometimes about consuming less. So today I invite you to consider consuming wisely and maybe even consider consuming less. I'm certainly a lot happier than I used to be. I spend a lot of time doing what I love and with those I love to be with and I certainly consume a lot less. Let me know how you get on today. Drop me an email at rob at inspirationalcreatives.com and I'll chat to you again tomorrow for another daily inspiration. Thanks for listening. Nothing beats the stories and advice of an expert to help you raise your creative game. I would love to know what you thought about today's episode, so don't forget to subscribe in iTunes where you can rate and review the show. If you like this episode, I invite you to share it on Facebook or Twitter with the one person you know who will benefit from the wisdom shared here today. You can find the show notes on inspirationalcreatives.com forward slash podcast. If you have a burning question or a great idea for a guest, head on over to inspirationalcreatives.com forward slash contact where you can connect with me there. 